Orlando shooter Omar Mateen was on a terrorist watch list and was actually interviewed twice before agents determined that he wasn't a threat. But Mateen's wife knew about at least part of the nightclub plot, according to new reports. And overseas, of course, in France, radical Muslim uh, carried out a brutal terror attack overnight on a police commander, and he had previously been jailed because of his terrorist connection. So uh, what will it take to actually stop these radicals that, for the most part, we've had right in the middle of our hands? We've had them, and we let them go. Now to former Arizona Governor Jan Brewer. Governor Brewer, thanks for joining us tonight. Uh, it, once again, we have uh, horrific news, and, we, and to compound the news, we learn that, that they were in our sights, that we knew that we smelled something, we knew something was wrong, and yet we still couldn't prevent these, uh, uh, another horrific attack. It's absolutely, absolutely unbelievable that we do not allow law enforcement, the, the FBI, the CIA, that we do not allow them to do their job. We need leadership from the top up. And I personally feel that our Congress ought to go forward and, and make a declaration of war. We are at war with ISIS, and the American people are fed up. They are scared to death, and they want their families and themselves to be safe, and they don't feel safe. And all we have is leadership saying that we need to lock our doors, I guess, and take our guns away and wait for them to come and get us. It's out of control. I am so bitter, Charles. Uh, I have uh, been in front of the TV watching this day by day, hour by hour, uh, wondering, what has our country come to? Do we believe in America? Do we believe in the Constitution? Are we going to sit back? and let our Constitution provide the benefits of Sharia law to those that are out there uh, here to kill us, to kill us? Governor Brewer, 49 people shot. Yeah, I, it's, it's, you know, it's, 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 it, it just it boggles the mind and it, and it breaks the heart. Uh, you know, you, you talk about yes. declaring war. Today, President Obama said there was no big deal uh, uttering the term radical Islam. Uh, but many say that's the major step you have to take in order to be able to determine or declare war against his enemy and fight it effectively. Well, bottom line is that he just doesn't want to call it what it is. He wants to stand there and tell us that we need to be peaceful and we need to do this and we need to do that. Well, it hasn't worked. We need leadership and we're fed up with it. We need a line drawn. And this is the same uh, terrorist uh, that uh, he called the JV team. Well, they're not the JV team, my friend. They just took advantage of 50 people's lives. Um, kill them. Kill them. Uh, President Obama also... And it's not the end. No, it's not the end. And I think we all know that and we're all bracing for it in one way or another. And, of course, part of terror is to, to make us change our lives. And to that end, they have succeeded. Uh, and they can succeed a lot more, uh, particularly when they start to look at sites like Walt Disney. President Obama talked about the immigration issue, barring all Muslim uh, immigrants from coming to this country. He also asked, somewhat rhetorically, do Republican officials agree with this? We know that Paul Ryan doesn't. Is there a way to, from the GOP side, ultimately, what will be, how will they articulate and go about this? Will it be just a, a strict ban well, for a temporary ban on all Muslim immigrants, I, or will it be fine-tuned to certain you know, areas? Well, I'm certainly not an expert on it, but my personal belief is that we need to take a big, deep breath. We need to pause. We need to be able to uh, vet anybody coming into this country and if we have any implications or any background that is uh, a hot potato then we need to say no you're not coming into our country why would we do that why would we in, why would we allow the fox into the hen house it just doesn't make sense you gotta fight fire with fire and I've got good Muslim friends here in Arizona professional people and they agree they agree that this radical Islamic terrorist is out of control and everybody's getting the heat for it it's not against the Muslim is against the Islamic radical terrorists. They want to kill us, Mr. President. They want to kill us. Governor Jan Brewer. And they have killed us. Always appreciate your, your not only your common sense approach, but the, the amount of passion that you share with us. Thank you very much. Thank you, Charles.